everyone, this is Rabbius Blog Animation Bliss, and welcome to another anime reaction series. So today's anime reaction we'll be doing today is my reaction on the second trailer for Sonic Prime. And before we get into my thoughts about the trailer, let's show the trailer. Oh, that's cool. The Paradox Prism. Sonic Eggman. Crush them all! Sounds a bit like Vegeta. Well, it's like Brian Drummond said. This time, you fool! Hmm. I like the color effects of that. Uh, where am I? I'm in a whole new place. You're all new yous. Hmm. The alternate versions of Sonic's Maybe friends. Maybe I can change it all back. Find those rebels. Your best shot. Yeah. Gotta go fast. Huh? Gotta go fast. Cool. So, what are my thoughts about the new Sonic Prime trailer? I actually really enjoyed this trailer. Like at the beginning of this year, I actually made a video about what was going on with Sonic Prime. And for a while, we hadn't had anything that dealt with Sonic Prime. Like there was a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog projects being released in 2022, but they rarely alerted to Sonic Prime. And for the last few months or so, we have been getting some small trailers of Sonic Prime, but just small trailers. Like these were trailers that didn't really say much about what was really going on in this TV series. But this trailer, I felt like actually explained to us about what's really going on with the series like we do know that Sonic ends up in the multiverse or something like that so I do like the fact that this trailer shows us Sonic's friends and how they ended up in the multiverse and how Sonic is able to meet all these different versions of his friends so I did find that aspect to be really interesting and I can't wait to see what they're gonna do with these multiverse versions of Sonic's friends and how Sonic is gonna try to change the multiverse that he accidentally destroyed so I am really interested in the show so far and I really love the animation in this trailer like one of my biggest complaints regarding the recent Sonic the Hedgehog games is that I felt like they didn't animate Sonic's quills very well and in this trailer we get to see Sonic Sonic's quills actually bounce whenever he moves his head back. So I do like that aspect of the animation and how they made these characters so expressive. And I also love the action sequences themselves. And I like how much closer to the games this particular series is. Like for the last few Sonic the Hedgehog cartoons we had, they haven't really been that faithful to the game except for Sonic X. But yeah, this seems like the newest Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon that's actually going to be much more faithful to the games. And I'm all for that. And I will admit that I was very surprised to see Rouge the Bat as a part of the main roster in the series like anybody who knows about Rouge the Bat in the games know that she doesn't really interact with Sonic and his friends that much in the games so to see her be a part of the core cast of the characters was really interesting to me and really unexpected to me and I am a bit interested to see what Rouge's role in the series is going to be now that she's a part of Sonic's team in the series so I like to see what they're going to do with her character in the series and if they're going to expand more her character or make her stay stand out from how she's usually portrayed as in the games. Now, this has nothing to do with the trailer itself, but this is something I wanted to get off my chest, and this is something dealing with Shadow and Rouge's relationship with each other. Now, they didn't really show Shadow at all in this trailer. They have shown Shadow in previous trailers, so we do know that Shadow the Hedgehog is going to be in the show, but one of my biggest issues with how the Sonic the Hedgehog video games have been handled for the last 10 years or so is that we don't really see Shadow and Rouge's relationship with each other. There's even this mandate that Sega has that Shadow and Rouge are no longer friends and I never liked that mandate. I really loved them when Rouge was friends with Shadow and we get to see that relationship between them and I hope that if Rouge and Shadow do meet up with each other in this series I hope that they establish the friendship that they had before and I hope that they don't go with the mandate about how Shadow has to be a loner and how he can't have friends. I wish that Shadow does have friends. I mean like I wouldn't be that upset if Shadow and Rouge don't have a lot of screen time together and I would love to 
see what Rouge can do as her own character in this series instead of being tied down to Shadow all the time. But at the same time, if Shadow and Rouge do come together in this series, I would love to see that friendship between them established. I don't want Shadow to be a loner over and over again. I want him to be friends with Rouge in this continuity. So if he and Rouge do meet up in the series, I do want them to be friends. And maybe if they get Omega into the series, I want to see them become friends with Omega, Shadow and Rouge. I might as well start a hashtag that says Shadow Rouge Omega Forever or something like that. I don't know. You might see the hashtag down here somewhere, but we'll see how far that goes. Anyway, yeah, I do want to see Rouge and Shadow actually become friends in this series if they do, but we don't know what Shadow's role in the series is going to be yet. We do know that Rouge is working with Sonic and his friends, so that's a very good alternate take on the character so far. But yeah, overall, I really enjoyed this trailer. I think this trailer was able to show off more about what the show is going to be all about than the previous trailers did. And I'm really excited for this show, and I can't wait until December for the show to premiere. So those are my thoughts on a new Sonic Prime trailer. And tell me in the comments down below. Did you guys like this trailer? Please feel free to tell me in the comments down below. Whoop, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Rabbit's Blog Animation Bliss, and I'll see you guys later. Hey, animation fans, like this video? If you want to see more animated content from this channel, then please hit that big old animated subscribe button so that you could get more awesome content from this channel.